Lapazetta, Mr. Lapazetta. I am the high school assistant principal. Um, however, I have a long history with Cleveland Hill. I have a long history with this community. Uh, I started as a teacher um, in 2012, 2013. I taught for many years. I'll always identify as a teacher. Now I'm the, the assistant principal. I serve under Mr. Timothy Wiles. Um, you know, I love the students at Cleveland Hill. I work with a lot of student issues. I love the staff at Cleveland Hill. I try to solve or support as many issues they have. Um, and I love our families at Cleveland Hill. So what is the CHANGE program? So the CHANGE program is uh, a place for students and staff to uh, grow. Um, CHANGE stands for Cleveland Hill Accept Accepting New Growth Every Day. And it's a program that we discuss uh, uncomfortable topics. We discuss um, topics that may cause some of us feel feeling vulnerable and it gets us discussing these things in a safe environment so we can grow as individuals and uh, our, our mission statement or our vision statement is uh, to hear multiple stories to see multiple perspectives and love as much as possible. And I feel like if we do that and we do it um, authentically, we will build empathy for each other. And why did you start the CHANGE program? Uh, the CHANGE program originated in my head um, probably late September of last year. I was at home and I, I felt like we needed something um, at first, I thought, you know, this would be good for uh, discipline. You know, we go here and we learn. Um, and then it kind of morphed into something when I, when I had enough courage to, to start it in, in January. Um, it became something for students, and then gradually I realized um, the change program really benefits adults, too. Um, I couldn't uh, be who I am without the help of the CHANGE program, especially our, our students. I'm Caleb Patterson. I do the musical, band, um, track, I make music, and I'm in Corral. So with you being so young and so busy and involved in school, what made you join the CHANGE program? Uh, I originally wanted to make change in the dress code system and the code of conduct. Well then it, it kind of inspired me, it, it gave me an area where I felt safe to talk about my issues as a black guy. And um, I think that this could be also a safe place for other people. Do you think yourself personally or the program as a whole has ever changed someone's perspective on something? Oh, I think the change program has changed everybody, honestly. I mean, when you have many different people talking about their issues, I think, I mean, I think you can change if you choose to change, but the fact is that everybody learns something, that's a fact, in that change. Like, we all learn about each other's experiences. Why do you think people should join the change program? Um, to learn. To learn about other people, to do better, right with them, because no, you're not perfect. You do things wrong. You're the wrong, you're the bad guy in somebody's story. And you can always work harder, no matter how good you think you already are. You can also do work, and then you can have other people understand you. What is your name? Larry May. And what exactly do you do here at Cleveland Hill? I'm a high school social studies teacher. And what intrigued you to be a part of the change program? Hope. Uh, we live in a world right now where uh, there seems to be a lot that isn't working, a lot that's not going right. Um, and a lot of that seems to be conditioned on the fact that um, people don't listen, people don't hear. People do a lot of talking, people do a lot of judging, uh, but they don't actually sit down and listen to other people. Um, and so the change program for me um, has demonstrated and was supposed to be about and has been about people actually sitting down with one another, uh, listening to one another, hearing one another, not agreeing, 
um, but recognizing that everyone's voice matters, recognizing that everyone has uh, perspective, everybody has motivations, and those perspectives and motivations should be heard, need to be heard, and that we might not agree at the end of the day, and that's okay, uh, but we need to recognize each other at the end of the day. What do you think is the best thing about the change program? People freely communicate, people freely listen, uh, people freely hear, people freely speak. Um, there's no judgment, there's no, uh, I disagree with you so you're a horrible wrong person and you know you should be disowned. Uh, no, it's, oh, okay, like I didn't think of it that way, that's interesting. I see it this way, what do you think of that? And you know, it's that, it's that openness, it's that dialogue, it's that communication. So you think that people should be joining the program as a place to learn and educate and also spread that to others? Yeah, absolutely. Because, I don't know, I don't know if there's many people who would look around at our world today and say, like, this is going well. Uh, you know, there's, there's a, at least there seems to be, you know, I don't want to be guilty of the same thing that I just said that we need change for, which is saying that there's these absolutes and so forth, but... Uh, it seems as though we live in a world where a lot is not working. And so instead of just further digging into our positions and our, our points of view, we've tried that and it's not working. It seems to be making things worse. Um, and so what I think is hopeful about the change program is it encourages people to sit, listen, hear, think, have their voices be heard, and the hope is future leaders of our world will then go out and do something with that. You know, we'll replicate that. My name is Kayla Lamberson. I'm a member of Project Lit, which is a club that promotes reading and literacy, GSA, Gender and Sexuality Alliance. I'm a member of the Principal's Advisory Group. I do the morning announcements for school, and I am a high honor roll student. So, being as young as you are, what made you want to join a social activist group like Change? I think that a lot of pressure has been put on the young people to fix the mistakes of our previous generations who failed. And I think it is also our duty to try to make the world a better place. Because why else would we be put here? And why do you think people should come to Change? As I said before, the world is a hateful place and it's filled with a lot of ignorant people that are easily manipulated and change helps spread love. It helps garner support for many facets of identity you wouldn't have thought of before. And it's a safe space for people, which I think is very important. My name is Glenn Graham. I teach science, uh, mostly biology or living environment, and I teach an environmental science course in the lab. And I also am um, the varsity football head coach, uh, girls basketball coach at the varsity level. And I coach uh, track boys and girls, but I'm the boys head coach. And what role do you play in the change program exactly? Um, I don't have a direct role in the change program uh, because time is limited for me. But uh, one of the things uh, that we did establish last year that I'm very proud of is a scholarship in my parents' name, um, which we are going to... Uh, hopefully keep dedicated to change program members going forward. Now, what does the change program mean to you and what do you think it means to others? From what I've been able to observe at some of the meetings I've been able to be at and feedback from a lot of the students that are in there, including, uh, you know, some of the more vocal, I think, leaders from at least what I saw. Change program to me represents um, dealing with helping to prepare our students for the world that they're going to inherit. Um, one of the advantages we have at Cleveland Hill is we have a very diverse population, uh, looks much like America is starting to look and is gonna look into the next century. And so the change program, I think, uh, allows a lot of uh, our students to funnel some of uh, their thoughts and their emotions into positive types of actions um, here in their school community and, uh, and, out, and outside of it. Now, with the American population growing so diverse and rapidly, why do you think it's important to be an ally to other minority groups? And what does it mean to you to have allies as a part of your minority group? Well, you know, I think that people 
do realize, a lot of people in this country do realize, and I know a lot of people in this community realize that um, our diversity can and always has been a strength. Um, we are a melting pot nation. We have been from the very beginning. It's a myth that we're anything other than that. And as the demographics change, I, I, I don't anticipate that changing. I think it'll just make us stronger. Um, but you do have people who are resistant to that idea, and they've been acting out in a lot of different ways over the last few years. Uh, so a program like the Change Program just allows everybody to have a perspective, have an outlet for saying things, and to put things on the table so you can make sure that nobody misunderstands what's going on. Do you ever lose sight of what's important or start to lose hope or lose faith in humanity, per se? I tend to be a pretty optimistic person, um, and that happens very rarely. I can tell you that during uh, the time when we were all out of school, when COVID first hit and the George Floyd situation, uh, that was disturbing because, you know, we saw a horrendous act upon another human being for no other reason seemingly than what they looked like. And um, there wasn't much that you could do at that particular point in time. I mean, people went to the streets and protested and things like that. But that wasn't something that I would tend to do anyway. I like to do things you know, more at a localized level, work with the young people that I work with. I just felt helpless during that time, and, and that was really, really frustrating. It put a kind of a zap on my head, no doubt about that. But, you know, coming through that, I think that we've become stronger in a lot of ways, and, and a lot more people see exactly what others go through. Now, why do you think people should come to the change program? I think uh, people should come to the change program if they want to be a part of our community um, that's going in a good direction. I mean, more than anything else, I, from what I've been able to witness the few times I've been to change program um, meetings and, and celebrations, I see really good young people who I have a lot of faith in in terms of the future who I know are going to be leaders in their households and their communities and things like that. I want to be able to support that and in any way possible, if I can add to that and enhance that, that'd be great as well. And with all of this being said, do you think that changing the world is possible? I know that changing the world is possible. I mean, I'm 62 years old. You have to remember when I was a young kid, we were in the middle of an awful war. We had strife in this country, exactly like we're having right now. And what I remember is, people just a little bit older than me, teenagers in their older years, college students, they changed fundamentally how things worked in this country. And I know that change is possible. That's one of the things that gives me faith that America can and will be able to withstand all the things we're going through right now because we've seen it before, we've had tough times before, and we've always overcome in the past. And if people lose faith, then we've truly lost what we are. We're far from perfect, but you know what? We're always trying to work to that more perfect union in this country. That's what I believe in, and I think that's what most people in this country believe in.